Hey, what up, man? So, uh, <laughs> uh, this right here is going to be about the the ongoing and long going myth of the dating and you know, like a sexual marketplace double standard. And you know, we've had this conversation a lot, but I've never about never heard anybody really, really address this way. Maybe somebody has, and I just missed it, but um. Let's, let's just get into it. So, all the time we hear about how, you know, men have, like, this big advantage, um, you know, when it comes to, you know, sexuality and all these things, and it's okay for a man to, you know, be promiscuous, and it's okay for a man to, you know, do all these things. But the thing is, no one ever addresses, or at least not women, right, is that men are at a disadvantage when it comes to um, just sex, period. Because that man has to be chosen by the woman to be allowed to have sex with her. Even when it comes down to a uh, um, uh, physiology standpoint, uh, anatomy, right? The man, for the most part, only has one true sexual, you know, uh, organ, which is, you know, his, his penis, all right? But for women, women have their breasts, their vagina their buttocks their lips and again this isn't my opinion all right this is um anything you can look up in basic psychology class okay it's a lot of things that um attract a man to a woman sexually not to mention you know women have pheromones again don't believe me i'm um, just google copulence they did a whole study about it whatnot what have you Men can literally smell the, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not not like a hound dog or anything, but men are literally, um, you know, aroused and certain parts of their brain are activated um, in the presence of female copulence. So it's just funny to me when women talk about, you know, all of this stuff and double standards and whatnot, what have you, when right now we're at what, let's see, lips, breasts, um as actual vagina so four to one all right and um you know the actual you know copulence thing whatever that's that's a little different but we don't get it that we don't count that so we just say four to one four to one advantage and i say this all the time y'all know me man um uh, the the chance of the top one percent it's actually even less than one percent of men that can stand up in a room do the superman pose put his hand on his hip put his stick his elbows out and have sex with me and, you know, women turn around and, you know, not even just respond to it, but, you know, publicly engage him and accept his offer is a million to one compared to the woman. And I'm not talking, not talking to celebrity. I'm not talking to me there to be in there. No, I'm talking regular everyday person. OK, that women would find in general, find, um, uh, you know, highly attractive versus the inverse. If a woman does that, even the the five okay if a woman that's a five stood up in a room and said hey have sex with me she's gonna get plenty of hands raised she's gonna get a line of men line up and be like okay uh I, even willing to wait their turn <laughs> let's call the boys let's run a train <laughs> shout out to all you train <laughs> I never participated in the train. I never understood it. I never understood, like, literally standing in line and waiting. But, hey, it is what it is. But dudes would do it, right? Now, as you graduate up the attractiveness scale, you go from even just, like, you know, a calm, cool situation to possible death, okay? You get a chick that's an eight, nine, or dime that does that. There's a highly likely chance there's going to be a fight, and it might be a fucking life loss, okay? over <laughs> over a piece of pussy, all right? So you go from, you know, let's run a train to motherfucking <laughs> two chains. I'm going to start a ride. I'm going to start a ride. <laughs> it's going to be a fucking riot, bro, over a woman offering to just, you know, have sex. And this thing, man, that I'm seeing as to where you know, through the dating ass or whatnot, oh, ain't gonna be no fucking, ain't gonna be no sex. Look, man, ma'am, 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 I know, I know society is telling you guys this. And it's like now that women 
are in control and they clearly admit to the fact that um you go you guys um control the like you know uh it's okay for women to be sexual i should have to hide my sexuality and women are sexual beings to sexual empowerment for women and when women do all the choosing it's not an issue not a problem whatever what have you you know but when a guy actually does what he's supposed to do again fellas let me holler at y'all real quick it is okay for you especially you young fellas all right it is okay for you to be physically and sexually attracted to a woman regardless of what society may tell you every time you approach a woman it is going to be for you to have sex with her okay it is literally something that is in your 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 being as a man so you know what so people don't go extinct okay you had this little voice in you is like oh wow she looks good let's go try and have sex with her ladies that's what every man does no man approaches you for a platonic relationship. Sorry, he doesn't. All right? Man walks up to you on the random. Hey, how you doing? Are you doing yourself all lot? He wants to fuck. Why, why are adult women acting like you don't know what we came here for? Okay? That's why we're here. If I spend money on you, if I spend time with you, if I do any of these things, it's in the... Uh, it's like you ha we have to start doing this. Men, you need to start... Yes. I'm here. I want to penetrate you. Okay. I want to do my job <laughs> for the human race to keep the human race going. You know what I'm saying? At least practicing. You know what I'm saying? By having sex with you. That's what I'm supposed to do. And it's crazy. Again, only in Western society, not even Western society, but America specifically as to where if you do that, you're a problem. Oh, you're aggressive. Oh, you're, you're just obsessed with sex. No, you, you, literally not, bro. You're just doing what you're programmed to do as a human being, as a straight man. And that's the real problem. But we're not getting into that. We'll talk about that later. OK. Because nobody has an issue for non-straight men and the way they get down. No one cares. No one ever talks about that. OK, and there there are huge, huge negative repercussions that show, you know, their promiscuity versus straight men's promiscuity. There's a uh, certain statistics you can look up to see, you know, what I'm saying the dangers between the two. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole right now. So this whole thing, man, about it being a problem and an issue because a man wants to have sex with you on the first date or the second date or the, the third date. Um, you know, within the first hour, like whatever. Again, am I saying a man should just walk up to you and be like, hey, you know what that mouth do and what that pussy hitting for? No, of course not. I'm not saying a man should be rude. I'm not saying a man should be aggressive. I'm not saying a man should um, uh, physically um, engage you or touch you um, unwanted. I'm not saying he should be weird. I'm not saying he should be creepy. I'm not saying any of those things. I'm just saying, why do you guys play the game as if you don't know why the man is approaching you? OK, ladies, if you don't know, OK. If a man approaches you, especially if he's talking about taking you out on a date, okay, or going to spend time with you, just him and just you and him, okay, he wants to have, even if he's trying to approach you on some friendship, no, mm -mm. he wants to have sex with you, okay? So how about you guys become the, you know, sexually empowered women and stop playing the dumb game? Like you don't know why a guy on a dating app, okay, is swiping right or clicking like. How about we do that? Yes. And, and then too, oh, and ma'am, you have three kids. So it's obviously been some fucking somewhere, okay? At some point in time, you was fucking. You got proof of it. Again, if you're over the age of, 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 of <laughs> you're over the age of, 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 let's just say 21, okay? The chances of you being a virgin are what? Okay? Negative one million? What's the chance of you being a virgin? So again, let's start can we stop acting like it's a problem with a man wanting to have sex with a woman that's how we keep the fucking species alive people okay and it's actually you know normal and healthy that's what normal healthy adults do you know what i'm saying they 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 um you know they engage in sexual activity with you know the opposite sex all right again this ain't my opinion it's just stuff called science and it's, it's literally been proven this is one of the few 
by, uh, you know, beyond the shadow of a doubt, proven science is that that men and women have to have to have sex with each other. OK, you know why? Because if you don't, you go extinct. There's no more human species. And it doesn't work just like that for humans. It works like that for pretty much every other animal, too. That's you know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen. It's just becoming funny to me, man, how women claim that it's the men that are double standards and the men have all the advantages and all these other things. And now that you're in the climate that we're here now, women can, um, uh, you know, dress extremely provocative. Again, you accentuate your breasts. That's a sexual um, attractive um, place. You, you accentuate your ass. That's sexually attractive. Hell, y'all even accentuate your damn your, your print. Could you imagine how disgusted and disturbed everybody would be if they just started making like vacuum seal dick print jeans? <laughs> I ain't talking gray sweatpants. I'm talking about you put the motherfucking jeans on and the shit confirms to your print, bro. Bro, everybody would be outraged. Okay, and again, that's the one sexual organ that a man has. Everybody, what the? <laughs> what? You'd be like, what the hell going on here? Like, you know, but no, no, it's just like straight. Dude, buddy, straight. He just, you know, advertising. Everybody would be disturbed, bro. All right? But women get to do it every day. Even with the most most sexual of, of their sexual parts being their, their vaginas. Okay? So can we please stop with the double standard bullshit, ladies? There's no motherfucking set, uh, double standard when it comes to, uh, you know, sex or whatnot. And you guys have had the, the advantage, always had the advantage, okay? Whether it be um, 21 BC or 2021 AD, okay? Women have always been in control of sex. Um, you guys will always still remain in control of sex. And the thing about it is, if you guys just stopped it acting like you didn't want to have sex, things would probably be a whole lot easier. But let's down on that one. Catch you on the next one.